is Kathy Martin and I'm the creator of the Pre-Algebra Teachers Middle School Math Membership. We are your one-stop shop for everything you need to teach middle school math. Today, I want to share with you three of my best, most efficient time-saving tips for your middle school math classroom for the end of the school year. The end of the year is insane, <laughs> right? I mean, there's no other way to put it. It's insane. We're dealing with state testing. We are still in the middle of hybrid learning, online teaching. Um, many are already back in school, but regardless, it's still insane. We still have a million papers to grade. We are dealing, you know, our, the kids are ready for summer and so are we, but we still have somewhere between six to 10 weeks of school left. So. I let's jump right in into my top three time saving tips. Tip number one I want to share with you is start looking around your classroom if you are back and back physically in school and start looking to see where can I start organizing materials because you know what's going to happen. It's going to be the last week of school and you're just going to start throwing things into your desk, throwing things into whatever cabinet closet drawers and stuff that you have available. There's going to be no organization at all. And then you're going to come back in August and it's going to be beyond stressful because you didn't prep for it now. So have a section like everything that I put into my desk belongs on my desk. So everything I pull out of my desk, you know, goes on my desk. I have a whole area of like, okay, this is where all the like paper supplies. These are all the pencil supplies. Like as best as you can organize it, create your system now so that as you are winding down the school year, you can just start slowly organizing, putting and putting things away instead of having it be one giant stressful, got to clean everything up and leave for the summer at the end of the year. Tip number two, since we have, since there is somewhere between six to 10 weeks of school left, I would really recommend batch lesson planning. I lesson plan usually two weeks at a time. Um, so you really, if you did that, you would have to only lesson plan somewhere between two and five more times, right? So depending on whether, how, depending on how many weeks you have left at school, I like to lesson plan two weeks at a time because it gives me the opportunity. It it's a long enough time where I can see where I'm going. I don't have to lesson plan weekly because I'm only taking one day lesson planning for the next two weeks. And if things change, if I get behind, if there's an assembly, if something happens, I can easily adjust my schedule. So batch plan as best as you can. And finally, tip number three, get your resources, materials ready. Take, take your one day out of the week and get it all ready. If you need lesson plans, resources, everything, everything for you all in one place, I would love to personally invite you to come join me inside of the Pre-Algebra Teachers Math Membership. We have everything you need from PowerPoints, lesson plans, printable resources, digital resources, bell ringers, test quizzes, everything you need so you don't have to go hunting. But regardless, get into your copy room if you need to make copies, have all of your digital resources ready to go so at least you know where to find them so you can easily pull it up so you know where to access it, make it easier for yourself so that you can e save a little bit more time so you can leave school a little early and teach with these. Again, my name is Kathy Martin. I'm the creator of the Pre-Algebra Teachers Middle School Math Membership, and I'll see you next time.